Triplophone. Uh, Chuck out of the 95th. Chuck, congratulations once again. 69% of the vote. Debbie Carroll had 31%. Thank you, Rob. Uh, uh, yeah, it was it was a good night. Uh, good night for me. A good night for uh, West Virginia. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this is the second time now for, you've beaten Debbie Carroll or the third, Chuck? Third time, actually, yes. Third time. Okay. So uh, in regards to what you want to do in the next two years in the House, what are some of the things? I know you're big for outdoorsmen and uh, 2A rights. So what are some things you want to make sure you get across the finish line over the next two years? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I've, I've, I've got I've got one thing I've been working on. It's uh, civil asset forfeiture. Um, basically a, a total rewrite of, of, of that section of code, which – will generally turn it into criminal asset forfeiture, which puts it into the criminal courts rather than civil. So uh, 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 basically there will be a conviction required for, the, for, for anybody to keep that seized, seized assets, um, or it, it can be dealt with in a plea agreement as well. So, so they, they could, plea, they could plead, plea the charge down, and in that plea agreement, if they, if they were seizing property or assets, they would, uh, they would be able to uh, deal with it uh, in the plea agreement. Maria. So, um, anything, anything top of mind, Delegate Hurst this morning that, that you want to, that you want to tell our listeners that you're going to focus on besides the, the forfeiture piece? Well, uh, another thing that I've been working on, and that is the, um, uh, uh, searching of private property without, uh, um, without a warrant, which is which is allowed because of a uh, U.S. Supreme Court ruling back in 1924. And Chuck, you're uh, talking about property lines, out, outdoor property as well, not just inside the house, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, don't talk. What I'm talking about is not inside the house because that's protected by the Fourth Amendment clearly mm -hmm. and the curtilage immediately around the house. But say you have five acres or ten acres or a hundred acres, uh, that 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 can that can be uh, searched for any or no reason whatsoever. As 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 things stand right now, there there are some states that have never recognized this Supreme Court ruling, so they don't allow it. Uh, generally speaking, our, our police agencies, as far as uh, the sheriffs and, and the troopers association, they uh, they they say under these circumstances, they they uh, they they go get warrants. Uh, now, natural resources police, uh, they're, they're the ones that would be, I, I think, abusing. Uh, property rights in, in, in my opinion i wonder how many people are aware of the fact that your private property can be searched without a warrant i bet most, most people i bet most of us think chuck that it's all protected by the fourth amendment but it's not absolutely most people do think that and when they learn otherwise they're uh, a lot of people are actually shocked <laughs> yeah I, I honestly didn't know until you brought this up last year yes and uh, uh i I probably really didn't realize it either until I seen this case that was taking place in Tennessee, uh, and uh, and that case has been resolved in the courts, and, and the courts in Tennessee have ruled that uh, Tennessee's constitution does afford that protection from uh, search of property without uh, without warrants. Bill, yeah, uh, Chuck, as you uh, uh, ascend the seniority ranking in the House, are there committees you would like to be on uh, in the future? Well, um, that will really be up to the speaker, and I'll do what the speaker w go where the speaker would like to put me. Or uh, um, I would like to stay uh, chair of natural resources. I do like that committee, um, and most of my other committees I actually like them. I mean, uh, energy and manufacturing, I, I, I find that a very good committee. I, I enjoy being in that committee, and uh, also on finance. Sure. So. Um, that's that's really going to be up to the speaker, and uh, you know if he chooses something different, that that'll be fine. Uh, I will do my best uh, to uh, do a good job at it. Yeah, I realize it's up to the speaker, but I just wonder if you had some preferences, and uh, now that you're becoming more senior, you could have perhaps move into a different committee. Uh, yeah, and 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 actually, most of my committees, I, I enjoy the committees I'm on right now. So. Uh, as far as just a move from one committee to another, you know, I, I, I don't know that I would see big benefit there. Uh, now, if it was moving into more leadership or something, you know, that may be a possibility. I, I don't know. And, and like, like I say, it's simply up to the speaker. And, and I, I, I will do my best at whatever, uh, where, wherever I'm placed. Chuck, we appreciate it. Congratulations once again, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Chuck. Take care. Thank you. Uh, good, good day. 
Delegate Chuck Kirst. And uh, now we move on to the Senate 15.